Hello everyone and welcome to another video of rating old school runescape money makers. In this episode I'm going to be rating collecting runes at the Orania Alta, also known as the ZMI Alta. A quick overview of the rating system, I'm going to be rating it 1 to 10 on the profit made in the hour, 1 to 10 on the requirements to do this money maker. I'm also going to be rating it 1 to 10 on the click intensity, so how painful my hand gets within the hour. And then finally I'm going to be rating it overall on all the things I've just mentioned previously. Just a quick overview of the Arania Alter or ZMI Alter. It's probably one of the best ways to train your runecrafting until level 77. It gives 1.7 times experience for each pure essence. You can do this at level 1 runecrafting and the higher level runecrafting you have the more experience you get. And also there is a pretty popular designated world, World 327, which is the world I'm going to be going in to collect runes from all the people that drop them. There is a bank near the altar but it's a little different to normal banks you have to pay 20 runes of a rune of your choice to use the bank and that's every time you use the bank if you're gonna do ZMI then I suggest using mind runes because they are the cheapest so for the gear I've just gone for some defensive gear for magic and range because you can get attacked in there by some mobs and for the inventory I've got a little bit of food a teleport home and then I've got a rune pouch just to teleport to Orania it doesn't really matter about the inventory as long as you you've got 14 spaces free. To get to the Oranian Alter, if you've done Lunar Diplomacy, you can teleport straight here on the Lunar Spellbook. If not, you can easily get here from a Jewel Ring teleport to Castle Wars and then you just run north. Or if you've done the Ardoin Diaries, you can teleport to the Monastery and run west. So I'm just going to follow these guys to the altar. And normally people drop runes. The reason why they drop runes is because when you're using a giant pouch, it's a bit of a pain to empty the giant pouch a couple of times. So what people do is just drop a couple of runes so they only have to click on the giant pouch once to get all the runes out. I'm just going to put an uh, Entity Hider on as well just to get rid of all the players so I can see the runes a bit better. What Entity Hider does on Runelight is you can choose whether to hide NPCs or hide players, hide clan members, so it's very useful. So what I'm going to do is just stand on this spot and literally just click in the same place for the next hour. So I'll bring you guys back probably at the halfway point or if anything interesting happens, which I don't think it will. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. So we're just at the halfway point. As you can see, I've got a fair few runes and I've got a nice variety. Quite a few nature runes and death runes, which is quite nice. I've also found that the random events from other people are very annoying. They get in the way all the time. I'd also turn your attack options to hidden so that you don't accidentally click on some of the NPCs walking around and attack them. And I found the best way to not click on a random event is to have the camera over the altar so you don't by accident click on a random event. So I'm probably just going to bring you guys back when I've finished. Okay so I've been trying to compete with this guy for about five minutes now and it seems that he or she has got PID so they can pick up the runes a lot quicker than me. There's only about five minutes left on the timer but I'm literally not getting any runes at all so I'm just going to call it a day here. But it went pretty well for at least 50 minutes out of the hour so that's pretty good. I actually wasn't expecting to be the only person picking up runes here. So I'm just going to teleport out and then we can look at how much loot we've got from the hour. Okay, so we're back at Edfril Bank and I'm just going to price check all the runes that we've collected. So we've got some blood runes, which is nice, body runes, earth runes, fire runes, all the elemental runes, um, soul runes, which is pretty nice. The nature runes is pretty good and the death runes are pretty good. And the total loot comes up to 136k from one hour of collecting runes at Arania. And we also got some coins as well, so I'll put that in the pile. So for the ratings for the hour, we've got profit first. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10 because 136k after one hour in members is terrible. I've not given it a 1 just because I didn't use any resources during the hour. I mean, you can literally get there from one jewel ring teleport and you'll be golden. For the requirements, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I could probably give it a 10 out of 10, but I'm going to give it a 9 just because you have to survive getting to the altar, so you can't do it on a level 3 account really. And you have to teleport there, so you have to buy a jewel, ring of jeweling, so that's why I've given it a 9 out of 10. So for click intensity, 
I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 10. My hand was absolutely dying by the end of the hour. I was literally constantly clicking on the same spot for an hour, so it can't get much worse than that. So overall, for collecting runes at Orania for one hour, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10 for a money-making method. My advice would be don't do this unless you're really desperate to make some cash and you've literally got no cash. But in general, just don't do this. So that's it from me for another rating of a money-maker in Old School RuneScape. Currently behind the scenes, I'm working on a series. Hopefully it's going to be a pretty long series. But I'm currently trying to get out of free-to-play buying my own bond, which does take a long time. So keep your eye out for that. Subscribe if you want to see more and leave a like if you like the video. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.